first two years I started off with the Chicago Wolves and uh, it was a learning experience for me. Got to uh, first year I played quite often and the second year we had a pretty good team. Jason Krog and Darren Hadar were here and um, you know it was more of a learning experience the second year watching those guys and um, definitely enjoyed the time here my first two years. Um, unfortunately the trade happened at the trade deadline for me my second year and uh, turned out to be a stepping stone in my career. Uh, definitely was something that helped me get to another organization and um, you know it just uh, worked out pretty well. Being with the Flyers last year and watching them go to the finals and even playing in some of the um, playoffs was a great experience. I think that I got to see what it takes to go all the way. I know some of the guys in our team have been through that and been successful, so they know exactly what it's like. But for me, that was you know the farthest I've, I've gone in my career. Even though I wasn't playing, I was able to be pretty close to a team that was very successful. Danny Breer was a guy that I watched a lot. He, we had the same size. I think we played the same way. Um, I think he's a very competitive player. He plays hard with a lot of grit and he uses his skill and he's, uh, you know, he scores a lot of goals. So definitely during the playoffs I kept a pretty close eye on him to see what he was doing out there to see if I could pick up anything. And you know, me and Danny were pretty close when I was there. We talked a lot and um, he was a great guy to be around. He, he definitely helped me um, to, to learn a little bit. Coming back to Chicago was a very easy decision. Um, you know, I was signing with Atlanta, obviously hoping to make that roster, and that didn't happen. I knew that coming to Chicago would be a very beneficial thing for my career. Uh, I've always loved it here in Chicago. The fans have been great, and the coaching, the, the general managers, everyone's been great here, and it's just definitely something that I look forward to coming back to. I think, I think the strengths of our team this year would be, you know, the guys that we have have all been around a lot and they've been through a lot. I think that with uh, veteran leadership we have, along with some of the, you know, intensity and the speed that the rookies bring and the younger guys bring, it's a good combination. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't had the success that we've wanted yet, but, you know, I think we have the team that's going to be able to make a run at the end and um, you know, catch some of the teams that are in front of us. In the last few years, I've been one of the most offensive guys on the team and coming to a team this year with guys like Jason Krog, Darren Hadar, Nigel Dahls, you know, um, being a defensive player has been something I've had to adapt to, but it's, uh, you know, something I enjoy doing, like I said, and it's, uh, I, I think I've gotten a little bit better at doing it too. And playing with Spencer Mahodchuk, he's, a, you know, we play pretty much the same way as far as the defensive zone goes, and, you know, I enjoy playing with him and shutting other lines down. I enjoy penalty killing, I enjoy going out there and being the only forward out there on a five on three, um, something that I like to do. Yeah, I enjoy playing against the top lines of other teams every night and it's something that you know, I look forward to. Oh, a great kill there by the Wolves. Jared Ross trying to gather himself on the bench, doing the little things necessary this time of year to ensure a solid PK. Off the ice, uh, I'm just a laid back guy. I enjoy um, you know, just hanging out, watching movies, watching TV shows, uh, playing with my my son, and um, just a laid-back guy. I, I'm pretty organized, I think. I like to keep things clean. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm, I'm not very, I'm not a guy that really you'll go out and see running crazy. I just like to take it easy. Having a family now has been very exciting, and it's something that I've. Um, you know, been adapting to the last three years, and it's been great. I've enjoyed every second, and um, thinking about my career and you know where it's going to take me, I have to be very realistic about you know what I'm doing now, and you know I have to realize that sometimes, you know, I might have to not maybe not get enough enough sleep or whatever it is to help take care of you know the baby, but it's something that's um, I enjoy doing. I love being a dad. I love being a husband, and it's a lot of fun. My wife, Evie, does a great job of, you know, taking care of Cameron whenever we got games, you know, the next day and, you know, she's been, she's been very supportive of everything so it makes things a lot easier and, um, you know, I look forward to coming home from practice and having a child to, you know, play with and, you know, spend time with. So, I, you know, just having the family has been great and something that I've really enjoyed.